Required materials, 32 printed chain links and the two end pieces. A couple of your inches should be more than enough. Start assembling the chain by snapping the pieces together until you hear a click. Now, I'm speeding up the video, but you take your time, all right? As you can see, the chain bends on one side while it stays straight on the other. I tried to replicate the original design as closely as possible. Now, I'll show you how to attach the end pieces of the chain. However, the piece with the two screw holes should only be attached later, when we mount everything onto the printer. Just a quick note. My chain has 32 links, a number I found to work well. However, feel free to add or remove links as you see fit. Try experimenting. <laughs> There's no perfect recipe. Except maybe for carbonara. <laughs> now let's move over to the printer. First, attach the starting end of the chain, the one that connects to the back of the printer. Make sure to start very close to the back wall. While curving the chain, feed the cable all the way through to the other end. Repeat the same process for the PTFE tube. Now, let's snap the chain into the rear mount. Then, we'll secure it with the screw on the print head. But wait, but seriously? I'm really getting too old for this stuff. Notice how the cable and the tube now move more freely? This way, it should last for many more prints. At least, I hope so. Let's run a printer homing to make sure everything moves smoothly and there are no issues. And that's it. We're done. Enjoy your new cable chain. Follow me, support me, tag me. It would help me out a lot. Thanks.